Hi there, Rogue Legacy fans! Thanks for tuning in as we show off the Swan Song Update, our sixth major content patch for Rogue Legacy 2. Before we dig into the details, we want to announce that this will be the last major update for Rogue Legacy 2. We're sending out a big, heartfelt thank you to all of our fans for their incredible support throughout Early Access and the game's official launch last year. But this doesn't mean our work is done. Patches to address bugs and balance issues will come out as needed, and we're still working on ways to get the game in as many players' hands as possible. Now let's get to the good stuff, because there's a lot to unpack in this latest update. We're starting things off by introducing three brand new gameplay modes for fans itching for more things to do. True Rogue is a shorter gaming experience designed for players familiar with more traditional roguelikes. All the rules are thrown out as you'll have a single life to conquer four random biomes with a completely random hero. Every biome has been twisted up to keep you on your toes. Different hazards and enemies can show up anywhere. And even if you think you've mastered all the mechanics to the game, we've also spiced up the boss encounters. New Commander Estuaries means even the most hardcore veterans will have something new to experience every run. With a significantly shortened pick-up-and-play runtime and endless replayability, we're hoping this new mode offers many hours of additional enjoyment for gamers. Fans of the original Rogue Legacy may remember its hardest achievement, Thanatophobia, which required the game to be completed in 15 lives or less. Well, we've taken that challenge and packed it in as a brand new game mode. Thanatophobia mode and its bigger and tougher brother Thanatophobia both require you beat the game with as few lives as possible. But as an added twist, you can only play each hero class once. So if you ever get the chance to play as your favorite class, you better make sure it counts. Along with the new game modes, we're bringing in three new fabled weapons to complete the set. This rounds out the Pirate, Valkyrie, and Dragon Lancer and means every class now has a unique fabled weapon tied to them. Call upon the power of Odin himself and crush your foes with the mighty ancient hammer, Mjolnir. Toss it at unsuspecting victims, fry them with relentless lightning, and then call the hammer back and do it all over again. Don't be fooled by this innocent looking hand puppet. Within it resides the spirit of a dragon, and with it the skies are your domain. Destroy your opponents by attacking from all directions, and then hold a puppet show detailing your epic exploits afterward. Surf's up! Take out your gnarly surfboard, build up some speed, and smash the faces of your foes. Not only do these wave breakers pack a punch, but they can glide past some hazards with absolute ease. And that's not all. Based on user feedback, we've updated some of the more classic weapons in the game, and altered some of the spells to include new ways to skill crit. This provides additional layers of mastery and gives spell slingers something to look forward to. Deep within the shadows lies the faint light of hope. This latest update will be introducing dreams, unique experiences that allow you to play out the wild fantasies of some of the most iconic characters in the game. Dreams are similar to Scar challenges in that they must be discovered before you can conquer them. But unlike Scars, you don't need to complete them to earn certain achievements. For players that love to tinker, we are adding some oft-requested customization features to the game. Along with the new house rules, like revealing the hidden state of all relics and abilities, we're letting players set custom seeds in case they run into a world they really like, or want to speedrun a specific layout. On top of that, Rogue Legacy 2 now supports custom translations. This means gamers can add new languages to the game, or even change the dialogue as they see fit. Due to the closed nature of consoles, these features are only available for folks who play Rogue Legacy 2 on a computer. There's still a lot more buried within this update, including balance changes, major quality of life improvements, and a ton of bug fixes. But we'll leave that for the patch notes, so be sure to check them out. And with that, we're finally closing the door on development of Rogue Legacy 2. We want to thank everyone that has shown us love, and we hope the game continues to entertain for many years to come. Thank you again, and we hope you enjoy the Swan Song update for Rogue Legacy 2.